Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to The Bold and the Beautiful teasers, viewers are still waiting for a dramatic disclosure surrounding the kisses Liam Spencer stole from Steffi Forrester. Despite the fact that Liam initiated the kisses, Steffi did not withdraw immediately. Liam crossed lines he shouldn't have crossed, and B&B and &B watchers know Steffi hasn't told John Finn Finnegan about it yet. Finn has no idea Liam kissed Steffi in Rome or planted another kiss on their return to Los Angeles. It's just a matter of who will reveal the secret and when the bomb will go off. Four sweeps could be an excellent time for Finn to learn about this betrayal, but who would spill the beans? What if it's Liam himself who makes a confession during a heated argument with Finn? Based on their most recent confrontation, Liam is becoming more daring in confronting Finn and getting in his face. Liam clearly believes he belongs with Steffi, so he may provide some stunning updates to make his point. Liam enjoys bringing up his history with Steffi, therefore he may bring it up again with Finn in the future. Perhaps Liam will act as if Steffi has an irresistible attraction to him. Of course, Finn could go on and on about how much Steffi adores him. Perhaps Finn will caution that nothing will ever happen between Steffi and Liam again, but Liam may respond that it already has. Liam may admit to kissing Steffi in Rome and again after they returned to Los Angeles. At the Forrester Mansion, there was also a close called cheek kiss that teetered on the border of something too intimate for exes. Liam may catch Finn off guard when he confesses these previously unknown kisses. Liam could easily feed on Finn's anxieties and pretend Steffi would have told her husband the truth if she didn't feel anything. Instead, Steffi kept Finn in the dark, which Liam would claim is because she's still coping with her feelings for her ex. Liam might use this to suggest Steffi is on the cusp of understanding she wants a steam reunion, which would make Finn wonder if Liam is correct deep down. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Liam may cause quite a commotion if he spills those kisses to Finn, so stay tuned. CDL is a place to be for amazing adventures. Shaver tells Deacon at Il Giardino that she overheard him and the judge and knows he's the one who let her free. Deacon reminds her that they cannot have this conversation in the restaurant and invites her back to his apartment. You have no idea how much this means to me, Sheila says. You literally gave me my life back. Thank you very much. Deacon taps the brim of her hat and scolds. Come on, come on. Finn is finishing a phone call at the cliff house when Liam walks in, saying that he used his key. Kelly is missing one of her favorite stuffed animals, and he promised to send it to Steffi. You've been talking to my wife, shouts Finn. He orders Liam not to talk to Steffi and to leave the stuffed animal on the table. Liam informs Finn that she is the mother of his child and that he will communicate with her. There's nothing you can do about it. In fact, he intends to fly out to see Kelly soon. Finn states that he will not allow Liam to destabilize his marriage. Liam expresses his longing for his daughter and inquires, Don't you miss your son? Finn complains about how convenient Liam missing his daughter is now, saying, Keep my son out of this and stay the hell away from my wife. Oak, Liam responds. Can you keep Sheila at bay? Ridge tells Brooke at Forrester that he despises being at odds with his father. Carter enters and announces that they will have to make some decisions in order to accommodate Eric's collection. Ridge sighs. Great. It has an impact on the entire organization. Why is my father acting this way? Ridge inquires as to what they are discussing. Cuts. Carter says deep slashes. He distributes budgets and emphasizes that Eric is not doing things on the cheap. What's my dad doing? exclaims Ridge. Eric tries to sketch at home but is forced to stop due to his hand. Donna attempts to persuade him to eat something. He is not hungry, and the one thing he wishes to do is not possible. He wants to jot down his thoughts on paper, but it's pointless. What about the pills? Donna inquires. He snaps that they are ineffective and then apologizes. Donna is concerned that this is all too much. 
but Eric believes that this is his last chance to release a complete collection and he says, I'm not going to walk away. I can't. RG steps in and inquires, what's going on? Domina explains that Eric's tremors are worsening. RG promises to assist his grandfather, but reminds him that he has nothing to prove. There's no reason for him to risk his health for the sake of the line. RG and Donna fuss over Eric as he sits back at the sketchboard. He refuses to go to the doctor, insisting that he is fine. RG is going to assist me. He hands RG the pencil, admits to having a headache, and says he's going up to lie down. Donna and RG watch as he comes to a halt and shakes his hand over the gowns on the rack. He tells them that when he returns, he doesn't want to hear about his condition again, and he doesn't want them to tell anybody else about it. Ridge, most emphatically not. Finn tells Liam at the Cliff House that he and Steffi are a family. He's the one she'll be returning home to. You better get that. Liam reminds him that Steffi is only in Europe because he can't stay away from his birth mother. Finn is enraged that Liam believes he can abandon hope and simply move in with Steffi. He has injured her numerous times, and he will ensure that Liam never hurts her again. How am I a threat to Steffi? Liam asks. Finn, she didn't dump me, she dumped you. And it's because of your odd bond with Shayla. In Deacon's place, he assures Shayla that what he'd done wasn't all that bad. Shayla is astonished. No one has ever said anything kind about her before. She wonders why it was so important to him that the judge ensured her freedom. Deacon claims to be madly in love with her. That's why he didn't want to watch her rot in a prison cell, saying, I couldn't imagine my life without you in it. Shayla informs him that they had just promised to stop seeing each other. Deacon is still hoping to see her happy. Shayla is taken aback by this. She had no idea she'd gotten away because of him. Part of her believes it's too wonderful to be true, while the other believes it makes perfect sense. He's a deeply kind, sensitive, and passionate man who has always been her supporter. RG tells Donna at the Forrester house that he is really concerned about his grandfather. It was pleasant at first, but it's no longer so. He's stressed out and fatigued. He's concerned about keeping this hidden from his father, saying, it's time my dad actually knew what's going on with Brandad. He's worried that if something bad occurred to Eric, he won't be able to forgive himself, Donna, or his father for keeping it from him. This is his son, Donna. He is entitled to know the truth. At the cliff home, Liam proposes that Finn quit blaming himself and instead focus on the true issue, Shayla. Finn grumbles, I don't need you to tell me how to protect my family. Liam reminds him that this impacts his family as well. Now that it's just the two of this, do you mind telling me what this is? He wants Finn to explain his relationship with Sheila. Finn assures him that his feelings for Sheila are unimportant. Liam screams that he won't, but cautions that those feelings are what are telling him and everyone else that he's not serious about protecting our wife and kids. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.